Hello, better late than never. Tipsy Tuesday here, Beth here, be styled. Welcome, something's, no, okay. Facebook is talking to me. Um, hi, <laughs> wasn't gonna come on today. Son number three had his wisdom teeth out this morning, so that's what I've been doing. But he, it was a really, unlike his brothers and me, his surgery was a piece of cake. So he's down in the basement watching TV and eating ice cream and, and doing fine. So hopefully that continues. But anyway, I decided I'm coming on anyway. I'm a little late. I'm not incredibly prepared, but I'm here. Um, today, because it's the sun is shining, because spring is coming, and because a lot of you are in areas of the country that I know summer's practically already there, um, I want to talk about warm weather dressing, kind of a preview, you know, to obviously summer, but talk about some tips I have for warm weather dressing. But I want to preface what I'm going to say um, with just a little mindset talk. I just literally just read an article, like a quick article, um, by a young blogger. Her name is. Oh my goodness, I don't know her name. CC something. Anyway, the, 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 the title of the blog, and I'll post it, is The Summer I Decided to Stop Hating My Body. She is a plus size blogger, it looks like. Um, she's a beautiful girl. She's wearing a sundress. She's gorgeous. But the nature, but the article started out with her talking about a memory of a summer, a hot summer day. She was on a subway and she was wearing, you know, like a sundress, I think. And she had a cardigan on over it because she's self-conscious about her arms. And um, she was looking around at everyone in the subway and they're all wearing tanks and shorts and it's everyone's hot and sweaty. And here she is like dying in this cardigan. So she like pushes her, pushes the sleeves up at least and to give her some relief. But she's like, this is stupid. She's like, I have big arms. I have big arms and the cardigan is not necessarily hiding the fact that I have big arms. She talks about how when she was when she moved her arms, she could see the fat in her arms moving underneath this warm cardigan. And she had this aha moment where she was like, and fortunately she was young, she's still young, and that article was from 2014. She, was, she took off the cardigan and she was afraid to do it at first. It was probably the first time she'd been in public, you know, as an adult, with bearing her arms and she just decided I'm going to do it. And then she talks about her going on a first date in a sleeveless top and how liberating it was. Um, but anyway, I digress sort of, but my message is this, let's just be the summer of accepting our bodies and not focusing on those areas that we, that we, that we don't like, um, and trying so hard to hide them and mask them that we give up on getting dressed in looks we like because we're so focused on these body parts that we, in our heads, are so focused on. Um, I mean, perfect example for me is I started getting varicose veins at a very young age. I remember I remember being in the dressing room to buy a bathing suit to go to, to spring break my senior year. And, you know, I had put, I, I weighed, I weighed a good 20 or 30 pounds more than I weigh now. Um, and that, that bothered me. But what really bothered me was the veins. I had veins up and down. You know, they weren't, they're not that awful. I had surgery. They're a little bit better because they hurt as well. My inner thighs especially, and now in the back of my thighs, blue veins. They're not spider veins. They are vein veins. They, they protrude. And for my entire adult life, I spent so much time trying to hide them. I never wore shorts. Um, I, was, I would stand for pictures funny. Like, and I still find myself doing that. Like I never... If I'm wearing a dress, I don't show my inner. Now you're all gonna like be zooming in on my pictures, but I don't. I, it's just it's it's my thing. Um, but anyway, we are all adults now, fortunately, and we are we are role models for our children. I have boys, and boys have these body issues as well. I know girls do. So be a role model for your daughters and your sons and your nieces and grandchildren, and and accept your body, love your body as the instrument it is and the gift that it is and don't focus on these areas that you just, that you focus on that I guarantee nobody else focuses on. When that girl took her cardigan off, I'm sure people were like, why is she wearing a cardigan? It's 90 degrees in this train and nobody was like, oh, it's her arms. Nobody thinks that way. And you know what? If they do, the hell with them. 
We don't care what people like that think. We don't. You don't and I don't. Okay? So that's my little speech. <laughs> now I'm going to talk about real tips because that's why you're here. You're not here for psychology. I'm not trained for psychology. Anyway, but the reality is, I, as much as I say this, as much as I believe it and try it myself, we have things that we want to, we don't want to, you know, let everything fly in the wind. There are things we want to strategically cover and mask and that's reality and so be it. But don't, don't obsess over it. So I have a couple tips for warm weather dressing. Um, where am I going to start? I'm going to start, I'm going to start, since I was just talking about legs and veins, I'm going to start with pants. I just, I pick these up almost every year or every couple years because they, they're cheap and they wear out. Um, this is a new color for me at Old Navy. These are a linen blend, very light and airy pant, drawstring waist, pockets, linen blend. So they, I don't know what the blend is, some sort of art, some sort of man-made fabric, I'm sure. They're not like, they're not real linen. So they're not a wrinkled mess. Cause I have a steamer and I love my steamer, but I'd rather just have something that's not gonna be a wrinkled mess. So I just keep them hanging in my closet. They just came out of the bag from Old Navy. They haven't been steamed. They're not bad. I, I, I wouldn't care. Anyway, the point is they're lightweight. They also come in a crop style, which I love, which would be even cooler on a hot day, but they are a great alternative to shorts. Um, if you're not a shorts, and even if you have great legs, um, some people don't like wearing shorts. They're not just not that comfortable for a lot of people. I don't love wearing shorts. Um, but these, on a hot day with a tank top and some sandals, could be your uniform and a necklace. Great outfit. Simple, simple. You know, you could add a third piece if you want, but, but you don't really need to. Make your necklace your third piece. That, that counts. A great pendant necklace. Maybe it has some color or, or like tortoise. Jamie Hoff at Flirty Finds has a great tortoise necklace. That'd be cool if you wore this and then tortoise and then had some like tan sandals and the tortoise and the tan, some gold hoops. Great outfit, okay? You're cool, you look, you, you feel cool and you look cool, even if it's hot. How's that for a tag line? Now, while I'm holding this, let's talk a little bit about sleeves because I know some of you are saying, well, Beth, I'm not wearing a, a sleeveless top. I don't like my arms. And I get it, and you could take the advice of the girl in the blog, or you could listen to me when I tell you one thing about tank tops. This is my favorite. This is the, I wore it last week in that light, light blue a lot of you loved, and it comes in a periwinkle that's a fashion, that's a color, a seasonal color for peach. And it also year round comes in white and black. I think I have both. I definitely have white. This might, yeah, I've had, this is my favorite white tank. I love it because it's got the high, low, it's, it can be easily half tucked. It's loose and flowy but it can be half tucked and it can be tied as I demonstrated last week. It has a, a, a nice scoop neck that's kind of kind of a little bit of a high scoop neck, which a lot of people really like, but not a, it's not a halter. But the beauty of a sleeveless is this kind of comes in a little bit. And if you've heard, if you've been following me, you know I have a thing for clavicle bones. I just love clavicle bones. I think they're the most beautiful part of a woman's body, honestly, one of the most beautiful parts. And if you can, accent that by bringing your your the the line of your top in towards your neck a little bit that's why halter tops look great on a lot of women um it's just very flattering and it's i have read professional stylists you know that, that style celebrities will say that a sleeveless top if you have arm issues if you have heavy upper arms a sleeveless top is more flattering than a short sleeve top especially more flat the cap sleeve tops, ladies, if you have heavy upper arms that you're very self-conscious of, wearing a cap sleeve, which is the kind that come, you know, to here, sometimes they're they're cut, cutting horizontally across the top of your arm. You know, they're not coming down here, they're up here. That's that's not good, no bueno. It's, it's great if you have narrow shoulders and you're trying to make them look wider. Um, if you have great upper arms that you wanna draw attention to, a cap sleeve is great, but if you are, self-conscious of your upper arms, cap sleeves are not great. A fluttery cap sleeve is better because it's fluttery and it's got angles and it's not stiff and it's gonna flutter. <laughs> Those, if you love a, a, a cap sleeve, go, uh, go for a fluttery one. They're everywhere, you'll see them. Um, but, a, but a traditional cap sleeve that even sticks out a little bit, it's not great. But a tank is great. 
So wear your tank and don't worry about it. Um, if you if you if you want a short sleeve shirt, here's a trick for a tip about short sleeve shirts. This is um, I just got this again. It's from Peach. Great color, isn't it? Um, it's got the V-neck, which is flattering. It is longer and looser and has an already done for you faux knot thing going there. So there's, you've got an automatic, you know, you don't have tuck. Um, and see this, so see how the sleeve is on an angle. It's, it's very loose and it drapes and it, it's on an angle and it's long enough that it's gonna go at an angle past the, um, heaviest part of an upper arm. Okay. So look for tops like that. Okay. With some nice softness and flow as opposed to stiffness, but it still has structure. You don't want it. You don't want moo moos, moo moo type tops. We talked about that. You're not, the goal is not to cover up your body. Your goal is to flatter your body and to strategically drape fabric on your body. That's what just get dressed is all about. It's not about covering things up because that doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. So sleeves, that's a good sleeve tie. And then there's always, there's always three quarter. There's always long sleeves that you roll up. Um, there's, that's always an option as well. I mean, you could, so here's my next tip. You could wear a tank top. Speaking of tank tops, if, if your upper arms are an issue or if you have broad shoulders, you don't want a, a spaghetti strap tank top as much. That's not gonna be as good because it's just proportion wise, you're gonna have a skinny little strap and it's gonna make your shoulders and your arms look bigger. Whereas a traditional tank or with thicker straps, you know, even if it's like a sundress with thicker straps versus spaghetti straps, it's just better proportionally. Proportionately? Proportionally, whatever. Okay, here's another trick from your closet. When you want to wear a tank top, or a tank dress, which I'm gonna to get to, but you wanna, maybe it's gonna be chilly or you wanna have a little coverage. Um, you don't have to go wear a cardigan. <laughs> You're living in Texas and it's 90 degrees. You could get one of those cardigans that's almost like in a t-shirt material, um, or yeah, that, that, that would work, but you don't need to be wearing your, your warm cardigans to, to, as a layer. But you could take a blouse. I mean, even the shirt I have on is sort of a, it's probably rayon, a drapey, lightweight, very airy um, top, and I could just unbutton it and put this over a white tank top and leave it open. Um, or I could unbutton it most of the way and tie it, but make use, reuse your, your tops, your blouses, your shirts, um, whether it's like this or, you know, this is the Amazon Essentials striped cotton shirt. So it's, it's not hot. You can roll up the sleeves, leave it open over a tank with a necklace and, you know, a, a, a pair of, of pants, you know, whether it's your ponty thin pants, your white jeans, or even you could wear it over those old navy pants that I showed you. Caution you about the old navy pants. Remember, they are full. So what, so what do we do when we're wearing full on the bottom? We wear fitted on the top, right? If you're wearing fitted on the top, you're going to wear full on the bottom full on the top, fitted on the bottom. You know the drill. Okay, so if you're wearing the full pants on the bottom, yes, you, this, this top I would consider, if it's open, it's not exactly fitted, but if you're wearing a tank top underneath it and you tuck in mostly, loosely, and blouse it out, tuck in your tank, tuck in your tank, let's make this outfit, totally works, didn't plan this. You're gonna tuck in the tank, your white tank, any white tank will do. Okay, tuck it in loosely and then wear a top like this over it as a layer, roll the sleeves up to a, you know your elbow and throw on a necklace, throw on your pants. And that's just, a, and, and, and clothing is not gonna be sticking to you. You're not gonna be hot and sweaty. You're gonna look chic. You're not gonna be a wrinkled mess because you've got your linen blend. Then you're gonna wear a shoe with pants like this, ideally, you don't, you're not gonna wear a high heel, I'm not telling you, but like maybe a platform sandal or a wedge sandal, or, and that's especially if you're, if you're petite or shorter and you wanna look taller, you're gonna wear a little bit of a wedge. If you're tall already and you wanna wear flat sandals, that works too. And, and, if, you're, and if you're not tall, I think these come in a petite as well, or they come in a crop. But a little bit of heel, just a wedge, a wedge sandals, they're everywhere 
in a neutral color, or you could, you could throw in a color if you wanted. Just don't wear black. Don't wear black, you know, sandals. And don't wear, and I wouldn't wear your cool white sneakers with these pants. Unless you're really tall and you just don't, you know, it's really a casual look. They're gonna look clunky. A, a big white sneaker with these big wide leg pants are just not gonna, you're better off in a sandal. Show your skin, okay? Um, so what's next? So we're gonna use, you can even use your white, a white button down. This is the peach white button down that is, you can hear it, it's like a performance moisture wicking fabric. So it's not hot, it definitely doesn't wrinkle. And it's dirty, I literally pulled it out of the laundry basket. It's machine washable. Um, it's got a nice big stain right there. Um, but you could, you could tie this, use this as a third piece and roll up the sleeves, okay? Um, of course, your other option is a kimono, which are everywhere, every summer season. Um, I would caution you on the kimono. <laughs> they, can, they can go into Frumpville very easily, kimonos can. Be picky about your kimono. Um, and if you think it looks a little bit like mod from the 70s, remember mod? Then pass on it. You're, you're too cool to wear a, a mod. And if you don't know who mod is, then, then you, you're probably not following me. But you know, you know what I mean, okay? So look at the pattern. This, this is one I got on Amazon last year. See how it doesn't have a big, huge floral pattern. It's pretty much, if you look at it, it reads to my eye, you know, Kelly green and navy with some white. It doesn't have 18 colors, it has three colors. It does have on the bottom, it throws in some hot pink, which I love, and some hot pink tassels. So again, it's, it's what, you're, what you're attracted to. This I liked, um, but big floral patterns are gonna A, make you look bigger, and B, they're gonna make you look like mod, okay? So go for tighter, more geometric type patterns, like a, um, is it Ikat? Ikat pattern, I-K-A-T. Jamie, Flirty Finds, just put on her website some um, kimonos that are, like the one I'm getting is the navy and white Ikat. Ikat pattern, someone tell me what it's actually called. So basically it's just a, a cool two color, navy and white. It also comes in hot pink and white and maybe black and white, I don't know. Check it out, flirtyfinds.com. And it's, it's just a, beautiful um, kimono that you could wear over your bathing suit in the summer. You could wear it now, you know, with your tank top and your white jeans or your, your old navy pants. Those come in multiple colors too. They come in like a stone, they come in um, a reddish color, they come in black, they come in gray, and they are like, do not buy them at full price, no matter how much you want them. I don't know what they're priced at today, but they will be on sale. If they're not on sale now, they'll be on sale soon they're not expensive and you should never pay full price at Old Navy, ever, never, ever, never, ever, ever, okay? Um, so a kimono, here's another little tipsy Tuesday, something I did, I, on a, on a, in a week moment, bought this dress online from Knox Rose at Target. It's not, not really my color, A, it's before I had my colors done, and B, it, I looked like, like a, a young girl trying, an old woman trying to look like a young girl because it's like that baby doll kind of dress, very loose, very bohemian. Anyway, it's it looked really cute on the model or somehow it, some blogger had it on, I think, and I bought it. Ooh, the color's really not my color. It still has the tags if anyone wants it. But anyway, what I did is I unbuttoned it. It's meant to be a dress buttoned up. I unbuttoned it and wore it with like like a white tank and jeans and it actually looked pretty cute. I think it's on my Instagram. Um, but that's another, that's another trick. If you if your daughter has a dress, you could unbutton it and wear it as a kimono, but you get the point. You're going to wear light, airy third pieces. Um, next tip, we talked about clavicles, my obsession with clavicles. Let's say you want, you're getting dressed up and you don't want to wear a sleeveless top. How about this number that I just got from Nordstrom? It is an off the shoulder top in a very light airy fabric, long sleeves with beautiful lace cutouts. And it is, I think you can wear it on the shoulder, like a peasant-y kind of shirt, or I love off the shoulder. I don't love cold shoulder. Cold shoulder has had its day and is past. Don't, don't be buying 
you know, on sale or whatever, the cold shoulder tops where it's like off the shoulder, but it has a strap. Those, those were very trendy on trend. It's an example of a trend that got, was really hot and then it was gone and now it just looks dated. So I'm going out on a limb. If you love it, wear it, but I'm going out on a limb. It's, it looks dated, the cold shoulder. Off the shoulder, on the other hand, which is the only one I ever went, I never did the cold shoulder. I just thought it looked like you were wearing a bra. And don't wear a bra with off the shoulder. Don't wear bra straps. You have to wear a, you have to wear a, a strapless top. Again, I'm being really bossy. These are just, again, all just my opinion. Wear what you want. But my opinion is, when you're wearing off the shoulder, the whole point of off the shoulder is you're showing your beautiful shoulders and your clavicle. And it's so flattering. And it's a classic, classic look. It was really hot several years ago. I think I wore an off the shoulder top every weekend for like people who know me know. I just, I love them, but it's classic now. So an off the shoulder top is a great way to still feel summery and cool and get some coverage, but show some skin strategically, some flattering skin strategically. Okay, last, I have two more tips. Are you with me? Is people, are people hanging in there with me? The one and done dress is your friend all summer and spring, okay? Um, I'm a big fan, this is especially gonna be the case when it gets hot or if it's already hot where you are, of just the tank dress. Um, these are surprisingly, both from Peach. Amazon Essentials has a tank dress as well. Um, you know, this black, navy, are an easy way to, to just have something you can always put on. You could put this on and then tie the white button down around it or leave it open. Um, tying it gives it a little bit of a waist. Um, leaving it open, if it's a, if it's a nice, has a nice fit, you, that gives you your two vertical lines. You can wear it with a jean jacket, white, white jean jacket. Color, you know, necklaces with colors, a black tank dress or a neutral color tank dress is a great dress to have. Um, watch your eyes. <laughs> this one's bright, but it also comes in black. That, by the way, is the peach 180 dress. It's called the 180 dress because it can be worn with a high neckline or it can be flipped around and worn with a scoop. Um, and it has pockets that float that go in either direction. It is on sale and I think it's only available in small and extra small. It does run generously because I have the extra small and I'm usually a small. So if you're a small or an extra small, that 180 dress is good and it's not too short. A lot of the tank dresses, like the Amazon one, is gonna be, Lisa, for me, it's above the knee. That one is not, it's right at slightly below my knee. This dress is also on sale, I think it's on sale for like $55, and it comes in black. It has that great scoop front and, a, and, the, and the racer back, which is great for your clavicles. Yes, you do need to wear a racer back bra. I would actually, when I wear this, I would wear, which I have on, my peach sports bra that I wear a lot as a regular bra, and I would just not worry, it's, it's a, it's a racer back, but it's got pretty strap, you know, cool straps that, especially if I was just wearing it during the day casually, I would not worry if the straps showed with this because it's like a strappy, cool sports bra, but you could wear just a, a racer back bra or just get those clips that turn your regular bra into a racer back. You see those at Target, they're shaped like a heart. They just bring in the back straps and make it a racer back. Um, the beauty of this dress is it's very light and airy, but it has two layers. It has a, moisture wicking under layer. So you have coverage, so there's no, it's not see-through or anything. And then over it is this, it's attached. Well, no, yeah. It's sort of a meshy type fabric. And the meshy type fabric is longer, it's about a couple inches longer than the under layer. So it gives you, it kind of gives you the look of a shorter dress. The under layer probably would hit me at my knee maybe a smidge above my knee, the under layer, but the over layer goes below my knee. Black or this really fun yellow. And I think it's fully available and it's on sale. It's in the sale section um, of Peach. I will post a link if you don't have it. So a, a one and done dress, it's, it's just a no brainer, you know, and it's cool, it keeps you cool, it's comfortable and it can be dressed up, dressed down, layered, left alone, all that. Last tip for all this skin we're showing is your self-tanner. There are a lot of self-tanners on the market. 
I'm not a connoisseur. I have, there's, there's one that I'll post that I heard from a blogger is really good. It's an instant one. It's like, it's called, I think it's called two hour tan. If you went on Amazon, it's called two hour tan. She swears by it. The key is also on Amazon to get this thing. It's a self tanning mitt, which not only keeps your hands from getting colored, but it, um, helps you, it helps with the, keep it from being streaky, which is important with the instant tans. Um, I just got this instant. I just, I'm a Jergens girl. I have the instant, the Jergens instant tan. Um, but what I, I rarely use this kind of stuff. What I used and I started now is I just put this on every couple, maybe every other day when I get out of the shower, I slap this stuff on. This is the Jergens um, Sunless Glow Firming Daily Moisturizer. This is the CVS brand of it. I think Target has it. It's the Jergens store brand, knockoff brand. Um, I put this on on my legs and my arm, you know, I kind of just slap it on. But the beauty of this is it doesn't streak. It doesn't give you an instant tan, but just gives you a slight color and it's more idiot proof, which is key for me because I, I would be streaky. If I were going on vacation, I would just go to a glow in Acton and have her spray me and get a perfect sunless tan and then keep it up with this. Um, for me to go from, from winter skin to tan with this stuff would be, disaster. I don't care who makes it or how expensive it is. I would just be blotchy. And so I would get a professional tan. If you're going away and you want to have a great tan, if you live in Acton or Boxborough or, or this part of Massachusetts, a glow, she's the best. Great road. Um, and then keep it up with your, every, with your gradual. A lot of people hate the smell of this. I, I'm not very sensitive to that kind of thing. Um, let me know in the comments if anyone has a sunless tanner that doesn't smell that they like that works and that doesn't streak. Um, Liz loves a glow. She, what, what is her name? She's like my friend. I can't think of her name, the owner. And she's great. She's like franchising a glow. Oh, if anyone knows her name. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I hope she's not watching because I love her. Anyway, she's on Instagram too. She's got a great Instagram feed. So that's what I have for you today, ladies. But the bottom line message is let's make this the summer that we love our bodies, that we give up the, the obsession over hiding certain body parts that only you are concerned about. I guarantee you nobody else is concerned about your arms, your thighs, your veins. Nobody cares. And again, like I said earlier, if they do, who cares? Dump them. Um, how do self tanners work with wrinkly skin? Oh, well, they always say to exfoliate first. Um, and that's, that's with any skin, because otherwise it can just settle into, into cracks and whatnot. But I think it's fine. I mean, I have crepey skin, especially on my thighs, and I just don't worry about it. But again, I, I use the gradual, so it's not so pigmented. So Rebecca, what I would do is just try this stuff. Go to the drugstore and just get the Jergens gradual tan um, and see, see what happens. It, it doesn't, it'll just, eventually go away. Um, but that's a good question. It's, you've got to keep your skin, keep your skin moisturized and exfoliated. Um, I'm going to post a link to a moisturizer that I learned about from, from hot and flashy. I can't think of the name. I can see the bottle, but it is, she swears for it as being a good body moisturizer. You get it at Amazon. It's not, it's not really cheap, but it's not that expensive. Um, and it's great for crepey skin or for, for aging, dry, wrinkly skin. But we're never gonna get rid of our wrinkles, right? And you know, that's just part of life. And there's no, there's no rule that says you have to have tan skin either. You could just skip it all. I started doing it because of the dumb veins in my legs and now I just, I just like it. And it helps me, by doing the self-tanner, it helps keep me out of the sun because I'm a lifelong sun worshiper, tanner person and it's bad. Wear your sunscreen, ladies. Every day, wear your sunscreen. One last tip about sunscreen, and I'll post my favorite sunscreen because it's a slightly tinted, you can even wear it instead of makeup. It's a tinted, mineral-free, or no, mineral. It's a mineral sunscreen. When you put your sunscreen on, which you're going to do, especially starting now, you should be doing it all year round. You put it on after your skincare in the morning, you put your sunscreen on, Wait 15 to 20 minutes before you put any makeup on. It's, that's what Angie says from Hot and Flashy. You've got to wait 15, 20 minutes 
and you've got to put a lot of it on. There's an amount. It's a big blob of it all over your face, back of your hands. Wait 15 to 20 minutes before you put any makeup on. It needs that. It needs that time. It's a pain in the neck, I know. Sometimes I don't do it, but put it on and then go get dressed or have your coffee, whatever, and then put your makeup on. Um, I might need my specs to see if I have any questions here. I'll open it to questions now. Yes, yeah, stark white. Yeah, that's, and that's very, you know, I think the ultra tan is very out, right? I mean, I still love the look of it, but it's, you know, it, it, with, with all the skin cancer out there, it's not the, um, you know, not the goal anymore. Man, did I used to fry my, I, I never got a sunburn. I never burned, but I was one of those, who was, one of, who was with me, like in the middle, I, I was a, a tennis player. We would sit in the middle of the tennis court you know, with the, with the record albums covered in um, tinfoil with baby oil on, on my face, baby oil, doing baking. I have this, here's some, some fun facts. See that, that's my um, birthmark. I've had it my whole life. It's called a hairy nevus. <laughs> it's a birthmark. A plastic surgeon once, or doctor wanted to have a plastic surgeon take it off me because they were concerned, but it was going to be a huge surgery because it's on my wrist. So I just kept it. But anyway, it is dark brown, and when I was young and really stupid, my goal in the summer was to get as dark as that tan, that, that birthmark. I, I never did, but came pretty close. Well, you know, youth. Youth is wasted on the young, or whatever. Let's see. Josie Marin is, M-A-R-A-N, is a fantastic self-tanner that doesn't have a strong scent. It is an organic it's organic and good for the skin. Rosemary Boucher, thank you. That's a good, so Josie Marin, M-A-R-A-N. That's a new one to me. Write that down, people. Yeah, Rachel. Rachel's sisters were tanning on the blankets in the backyard while she was getting a sunburn. Yeah, my husband is a burner and my youngest son is a burner. They both get so sunburned. He has to be really careful because he's had lots of stuff removed and had to have that chemo peel on his face as my husband. So he is now like, he just bought all these shirts, special sunscreen shirts. Um, yeah, let's see. It comes with a mitt. Excellent. Good to know. Um, does anyone, did I miss any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Oh, we've got so many fun people here. Oh, Rebecca's wearing pink gingham and white. I had, well, I'm actually, I put white sweatpants on because <laughs> I was, I wanted to be more comfortable. I had my white jacket on earlier. We were twinning. That's funny. Where is that beautiful off the shoulder top from? I will post it. It is from Nordstrom and I just got it. I've been shopping because I, you know what, I, you know why I got it? I love off the shoulder. My only off the shoulder top is like a bright, bright, royally purpley blue and I'm caught up with the color guru. That's just not a great color on me, whereas this is. And I never knew that. And, I, and will I stop wearing bright royal blue? No, but um, I'm really attracted to that light blue, which I never was attracted to before. So when I saw an off the shoulder top, which is what I was looking for when I saw it in my color, I jumped on it. Um, any other questions? So I will post a link to that. Off the shoulder, still in, Amanda. Isn't it such a great look? Talk about like a date night. If you're going on a date, I think off the shoulder is just, it's just sexy enough without being like va va boom cleavage. And like I said, you're never gonna look at a clavicle the same again. Tonight, when you, when you are like washing your face, look at your clavicles, put a little extra moisturizer on them. They are the most beautiful part of a woman's body. Every single woman has beautiful clavicles. Everyone, I love them. Um, let's see. Oh, the peach ballet wrap. How could I have forgotten? Rachel, thank you. Rachel is my is the is the newest addition to the peach family, by the way. And Rachel reminded me, I don't have it with me. I have it in. I have it upstairs. Peach has a. It's called the ballet wrap, which is like a kind of like a, they used to call them shrugs, but it's not a sh you shrug. Some shrugs are come up to here. I never really understood that. It's it it comes as long probably as long as here, and then it has little tails, so you can wear it open like that, or you can tie the tails. You can even wear it as a shirt. You can tie it and wear it as a shirt. 
but it is perfect. It's a perfect, very light layer to wear under um, like a cami or a tank. And it gives you great coverage, just enough warmth, but not you're not hot. Um, it's available in black and white too. And sometimes they bring it out in, in colors for the fashion, fashion colors for the season. But right now I know it's available in both black and white and it's a great spring summer piece. And I forget about that. But my my, my um, w uniform is basically, you know, on a hot day if I'm at home working from home, so I wear my boho joggers, a white tank top, and my ballet wrap, and little white sneakers. Anyway, let's see, any other golden nuggets here? Rachel despised cap sleeves. Yeah, they are everywhere this season too, aren't they? Yep, they are. Um, hello everyone, what a great, great group we have here. So great of you to, to join. I'm glad I didn't bail. Every once in a while, I'm like, oh, I don't feel like it. And then once I get going, I have fun. So I um, hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I will, as soon as I get off, I'm gonna go in and start adding links to things that I spoke about that if they're still available, okay? So check back and um, make sure you're on my mailing list. Make sure you're on my um, B-Style Weekend Update mailing list because I send this T Tipsy Tuesday video out in that newsletter every Sunday. So make sure you're on my list. I'll post a link to sign up for that in the comments as well. Because um, that way, if you miss Tipsy Tuesday, you can watch it on Sunday. And it's always on this page too. It lives on. Unless it's so bad that I delete it. Okay. Um, that's it for now. It was great chatting with you ladies. Have a great day. Bye.